Greetings, comrades, and welcome to another episode of Crisis in the Kremlin. I don't even wholly remember what we were doing at the time when we last finished the video. But things seem to be stable enough. The Chinese Soviets. And the United States doesn't like us that much, but that's fine enough. Now, all the republics are extremely loyal. Except for, uh, Poland. Oh, well, let's see. Can we actually change into a fake federation? We can, actually. Um, and that means that, yeah, we can change the people into being communist. So we'll go ahead and do that. And that is kind of bad. Because we are definitely uh, restricting the power and the autonomy and kind of going against the uh, national question. But oh uh, well. It's for the good of the future. Katyn Execution, Comrade General Secretary. Poland demands opening investigation and declassifying documents on the Katyn tragedy. Mass murder of Polish citizens during World War II. Today in the USSR and countries of the Warsaw Pact, it is officially claimed that Nazi Germany is guilty of this murder, according to the Soviet investigation, which took place in 1943-1944. But the West accuses of falsifying the investigation. What should we do? We'll conduct the investigation based on the old facts and the proof. Recent investigation showed once again that Katyn executions was held by German warmongers. Protests were held in Poland against falsified investigation. Uh, Mexican crisis. After devaluation of the Mexican peso, financial crisis erupted in the country. President declared reduction of government spendings, negotiations with trade unions in order to block wages, and ask international financial organizations to give Mexico a loan. Uh, we'll try to get financial aid, just to see if we can capitalize on this uh, crisis here. Today, Soviet government sent financial aid to Mexico. Expert predicts the end of the crisis, fast recovery peso, and also an improvement in relations between the USSR and Mexico. So that really didn't even take that much money. It's very nice. How is the number of army looking? It's looking very good. As is the power of the KGB. Very nice. Uh, we're going to have to begin the detente. And go to Brezhnev's policy again. And actually, now I think about it, we can't even... Yeah, we can't even do much of anything. Because, uh, don't have any political power. Oh well, I think we'll take away a tiny bit of money from cultural alignment for now. Uh, second Cuban Revolution. Today, mass protests against Fidel Castro took place in Cuba. Opposition took over the main square, smashed shop windows, and demands full liberalization of the regime. Support Castro at any cost. The USSR supported Cuba during the conflict. Protests stopped after disappearances of opposition leaders. Remaining protesters were suppressed by armed squads in Castro, who made speech to recently softened immigration laws. Immigration laws. So I guess he's just letting people leave if they want to go, which is fine to me. I mean, I am kind of a supporter of if you want change, you shouldn't just leave to a different country that fits more to your ideals. You should try to fix where country you're in, but... Uh, I mean, honestly... 
it could go either way. It can be better sometimes to just go somewhere else. If you are just so highly antagonistic to the Cuba, the Cuban government, then yeah, you should definitely leave. If the only way you're gonna get uh, it to change is through uh, breaking just stuff. And I mean, that, that might sound contradictory, considering I'm literally a, a fucking commie. One of the Reds who thinks that it was fine to have all those revolutions happening, but... Uh, I would say in general, revolutions try their best to not be at least intentionally disruptful to non-governments. Like, they try to keep themselves to just doing whatever they can to hurt uh, whoever is oppressing the workers. They don't really just go around attacking random shops, from what I know. Could be entirely wrong, though. Could be fairly biased, but eh. The Errol question. The Errol Seas rapidly dried up due to wrong excessive use of water in the region. We should do something. Um... Sure, we'll give my to the recovery. Resources were spent to improve the Errol Seas situation. Ecological problem is beginning to get better. That's a lot of money right there. Oi, oi. So let's take from Algeria our great, great friend. I really don't know what we would do without Algeria. Ah. Uh. The balls. It required to be in the Comic Con, but I don't think we can invite them, can we actually? Ah. Can we put base anywhere else, is the question. Let's see, Czechoslovakia. No, oh, no, no thing in Yugoslavia, Bulgaria, uh, try it, but no. Oh, uh, well. Let's see, we have a little bit of money in the reserves, but we should definitely have as much as we can, so... Just gonna extract resources from whoever I think it's safe to do so from. Which looks to be not that many people. Oh well, land out, train Algeria. We certainly have more than enough money, or not money, but uh, military aid, and I think political power, yeah. We can do that a little bit. So now we have a lot of money. Which is nice. It's always rather good. Uh, start one. After US presidents visited the USSR, it was clear that Americans are ready to further relations of warming. Your offer to discuss and sign the Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty with the USA. It's very expensive, but it would significantly improve our relations with the West. Uh, I don't know. Wait, so ratifying the treaty... Wait, what's the difference between not signing and not ratifying it? Hold on. I thought ratifying was just, yeah, ratify, sign or give formal consent to a treaty, making it officially valid. Oh wait, no, it's sign and don't ratify, 
Don't sign the tree or sign ratify the treaty. I just say don't do it. And that apparently caused a great leap in our industry. So that's cool. Um, let's see, what can we even do with technology at this point? We're almost at 3,000. You know, at this point, I think we might actually just save up what we have. And start to really support revolutions. But let's check. Number of armies, let's get that up to at least be light red thing. Now the Korean process. The Koreans report that they're going to launch the uranium enrichment facility. The leader of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea proclaims that it will be used to launch a nuclear power plant while Americans are claiming that North Korea is going to make nuclear weapons. Uh, I don't know if we'll IAEA to organize a commission. Like, I don't know who those people are, but I would say yes, just see if they're actually doing it. Here, the USSR suggested to send a commission to North Korea to investigate nuclear arms production. The idea was support, and Koreans had to accept the commission, cancel military nuclear project. So that's good, at least. Because I do think that nuclear power is actually the best of uh, uh, energy sources at the moment. Because actually, it takes a lot... Oh, how, how do I put this? It takes a lot less actual stuff in terms of uh, human casualties than our sources of energy. The problem is that people look at explosions, they look at these big disasters, they look at shootings, and they say, wow, this is awful. And they don't so much look at the fact that in the last century, we've had less than a thousand, possibly even less than a hundred, deaths caused by nuclear energy. Comparatively, we've had... Thousands upon thousands of cases every single year of asthma that's been caused by uh, the coal industry and oils. And nuclear waste can be much more safely uh, done away with by putting it in the ground than can, for example, the coal, which is just puffed back into the air and just affects the entire plant. You can't escape from that. Uh, but that's just my two cents. The Finnish problem. Today, a referendum takes place in Finland about the entrance to the EU. Uh, yeah, we'll do this. Finnish government agreed with us, so we demand an add an option and enter Conicon, being an observer. Finns still decide to enter Conicon. Votes for 51.2%. It's another victory of worldwide Soviet friendship. Yep. That's the best kind of friendship, where we just, uh, everybody's and we support them economically, do whatever we can. Uh, another threat. Change to Brezhnev. And keep doing resource extraction, as we always do. And then, how much political power do we have? We have a bit. So I will actually just go ahead to that. So we have money. Put some on the reserve. Ooh! The end of dollar's hegemony. Radical left wings of our government suggest to stop the use of dollar in all spheres of stay in, com uh, uh, stay in trade, letting only rule and spending all accumulated currency into the market. If the current moment is good enough, American hegemony will fall. If not, then we will suffer major hits. Our economic options failed, and the idea was total failure. Oh no. 
Well, I mean, we just fucking had that happen. So that's fine. Like, our profits went up by a lot. Uh, enough to do an hour detente. Though, I think right now we're just gonna support Algeria. And we're gonna save it here. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.